The next topic yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about, just the other week, um, appreciate you, yeah. came out online that AI had did an interview and was saying that he wants to get back in the league and he will play for any team who wants him and is willing to accept any role. Now this hurts me because I used to love to watch allies play ball. I don't have a favorite basketball player or a favorite team. I just like the game. And he was entertaining to me. Dude was like 5'10 and he used to get buttons. You know, I see him out in Atlanta now and it's like he is arguably one of the best players to ever play the game. And he's just not in the league. And I still think he has, you know, some tread left. But on the other note, on the other side of it, I think he did dig his own grave. He was given opportunity after opportunity to stay in the league and to do what he wants to do now. And it's unfortunate that he probably won't, that he was forced out of the NBA. And he didn't leave on his own terms. But I don't see him getting picked up by anybody. I just don't see it. He's 30, 34 years old, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. um, he's, only, he's only six foot. And he's a liability on defense. <clears throat> and he's and obviously made his living off his speed. Who is he going to blow by now? Guy guards a lot bigger than they were 10 years ago. Um, they're a lot faster and they're just a lot stronger. I don't see where he can fit in the NBA now, even coming off the bench. Which, if, if anybody here was a was an owner, would you risk a season just to give somebody else their 15 minutes to walk out of the game? I would. If it was Allen Iverson, I, I would make that risk. It's a low-cost, one-year risk. Okay? And worst going to worst going to worst cut. I mean, like you said, he dug his own grave. Me, personally, I'm a huge Allen Iverson fan. All right? I feel he got blackballed out of the league. But before he got Blackwood out of the league, he dug his own grave. He had a perfect opportunity in Memphis to come off the bench, play for an up-and-coming team, to be a, a great leader, and help them move forward to where they are now. Who knows what, how, how further along they would have been if Allen Iverson would have played the part that he was supposed to play a couple years ago. So him bucking the system, no, I'm a starter, I need to play starter minutes. I'm putting, I need to score all these points for a team that he's not even a star on. So him doing that and getting shipped to Turkey, and what did he do over there? So, I mean, he got blackboard out of the league because of his performance in Memphis and the way he acted. No one wanted to pick him up. But he also got another chance in Philly. Yeah, he did. And he did the same thing. That's why he ended up in Turkey. But if I was the owner, your question, if I was the owner, I would see what he had left in the tank. I'll at least invite him in, into training camp, at least. Here's my, my take on the whole Allen Iverson thing. I was a huge Allen Iverson fan also. Not to say he was, I still am. But I disagree with both of y'all as far as the fact of saying that he was blackballed out of the league. Being blackballed is... is, is something that somebody conspires against you and come together and kick you out of something. When your own actions bring forth this, that's not being blackballed. That's that's pretty much you set that in motion. You know what I mean? So yeah. you blackball yourself out of the league. And just like you're saying opportunity after opportunity, if you get an opportunity after opportunity, you're not getting blackballed. You're getting chances. You know what I mean? You just blew your opportunities and your chances. And my thing with the whole AI thing as far as like his play and decline and one of the greatest and now we got to take a chance on him once again that falls on him because from the beginning of his time into the league people said this dude need to get in the gym you need to get stronger you need to work on this you need to work on that so if we're going to criticize LeBron about not doing things to improve your game we have to take that same criticism on this dude you didn't get in the gym you didn't do these things on top of that your years further into the league, your attitude got worse. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, it was your entourage. We had to keep you from hanging out with these dudes, doing stuff that was detrimental for you being a better player and a better uh, uh, teammate to your, to your team, you know, and all of that. And now, you're talking about, if I'm an owner and if I got a chance to win a championship, first of all, if I got a chance to win a championship, that means I have pieces. 
The only people that I'm bringing on my team are pieces to help me. Bringing this dude in at this time with diminished talents and worse attitude, I think that's only like a cancer. You bringing a cancer in there. As much as I love to do, if I got, if I'm that close to winning a ring, no, I don't want him on my team because I feel, I feel like he's a risk. And yeah, I feel like he's a risk. Not only that, what are you really contributing to my team? Now, AI is what we're training camps for. I mean, yeah, we say that's what training camp was for, but that's what training camp was for at Memphis. That's what training camp was for at all these other places. Where, like I said, you had opportunities. Now you get in the league and and you on another system, and you I see you doing that. I might trade for you or something like that, but. Me being that close to a championship, I'm not risking my championship on that. First of all, we're talking about Iverson? <laughs> Practice! You're making Iverson? Practice! I'm Iverson. <laughs> but, I'm, okay, I'm playing the devil's advocate. Pride. They say pride will kill you faster than the bullet will. Even though Iverson was that guy, right? He had all the right in the world to to the act the way he did, did, but you gotta humble yourself, right? Not knowing, maybe he didn't know future reference what was coming, but I'm taking it to LeBron for a second. When LeBron makes them, them comments, you have all the potential to feel that way, but you you don't have the stat the stature to say what you say, like Iverson when he's like. Uh, he wanted to stay in the league. He's like, I don't want to ride the bench. Blah 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 blah. Where are you now? <laughs> you're you're down on East Marietta at Subway, <laughs> right? You gotta humble yourself. If the, if you don't if you don't humble yourself like my mom told me, you don't humble yourself in life, you're gonna stumble yourself in life. On that, I'll give him a chance. I'll put him on the Clippers. Clippers will love it. <laughs> oh, wow. We sell some tickets. That's, that's a good spot for him. But other than that, ship him to Cleveland. Let's see how bad he really wants to play. <laughs> 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 that's that's to Cleveland. That's see, good. Other than that, Iverson was that guy. I'm not taking enough from him. He might still be that guy. I mean, Vic said a year in prison came out and was Two killing years. everybody. Two years in prison came out killing everybody. Don't ever, I don't, I don't judge people, so give him a shot, but like, he's a good ticket seller, he, he might make your money back by selling tickets, so, okay. I say, Clip, I'm a Clippers fan, I want him at the Clippers, but to see what what he really wants, ship him down to Cleveland. Why you say no championship team? Like you said, but you no know, <laughs> championship team, because you don't want, it's like, it's like, okay, you got a pit bull, but you don't want that pit bull around your poodles. Because <laughs> they're going to end up physically attacking your poodles. <laughs> your poodles can grow up in your eyes with a poodle. Right or wrong? Oh my God. So send them, send That's them, an analogy for your ass. Man. Send them to, with the rest of the pit bulls down at Cleveland. You got Let's go. Let's go. So my whole thing is, like Raphael said, no championship team, I think, would take Allen Iverson. This is my personal opinion. I still think he's a, I still think he can still play the game of basketball, but it's a high risk low return. Like, what is he going to get? Yeah. Yes. 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 At this, at this, at this point, point in his career. We're still trying to remember the old AI. You right now, yes. When was the last time you saw Allen Iverson play basketball? When he was in Philly, and they didn't even let him play. And they were terrible. <coughs> and look, only because of his attitude. Thank you. Do you think it's really it's not his skills? skills or or no. Y'all really sit here saying that his skills didn't fall off? Pro when? When are you no, he, he fell off. He didn't fell off. He fell off from being the right. answer to the question. So, right. So he's but better. He's better than so Baron he's Davis. Him. He's better than Mike Bibby. And we're, we're he's talking better about than Chalmers. We're talking about dudes that. Hold on. What? You, you think he's better than Chalmers right now? Yes. Yes. Right now. Yes. Listen. Yes. yes. You're Bye. talking about. Yeah. What you're <laughs> saying to me is what it sounds like, and you too, Raphael, uh -huh. that Allen Iverson isn't better than. Guards in the league right now. Some guards, no. no is he better not. than CP3? I'm not saying that he's the best no, guard. No, I'm, I'm not saying he's the best guard. But you're saying that we're saying that he's not better than some guards in the league. And no, he's not. Right. Right. There, there are, are guards out there that are guards better than him. Okay, not taking yeah. nothing. This, he's better than more guards than there are guards. Name me, than name me, what? Name me four starters that he is better than. Baby. Which starter? I'm talking about legitimate. That's supposed to be starters. 
Did, did you want to say that Al Iverson needs to start on the team? No, no. I didn't I'm not asking. I didn't, I didn't so, why, so why did you ask me questions? Who wants to go over to the bench players? Okay. Like, yeah. I need a better dude on my bench. That's what you need. No. I mean, I mean six, seven, man. Back up. What? So we're talking about role players or bench that's, players. That's all he is right now. So so Al all he would be is a role player. Al Iverson better than He better than TJ Ford right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You talk about Iverson. I can't say that because I ain't seen neither one of them play in a minute. I'm about to say the same. Okay, okay. Not, plays over not taking none of them. He better than Rondo right now? No, no. he's not. Rondo, but like you said, Rondo, Rondo what? top five point guards in the league. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 so once again, we're back to a sorry ass team. No, no I'm not saying sorry. Team. Not for no, the okay. sorry team. Who are you, who who are you gonna put on? So you're telling me? No, answer the question. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm answering the question. I'm answering so, the question. So you're telling me a team like the no, San, the no. San Antonio Spurs? Heck no. Who needs to spark yeah. off the bench? Are you Hold on. They had Tony Parker coming off the bench. Oh and they know what you're telling me. He's better than Tony Parker right now. And what happened to the Spurs? So Al Iverson. Wait a minute. Regardless. Man. So if they trade Al Iverson to come off the bench, he gonna make the Spurs get to the finals? Yeah. Is he gonna make? You would rather have Al Iverson than Tony Parker? Didn't say that. You no. said that. Trump. Okay.